Hi, today we're going to do a demonstration on how to apply the stick-on titanium pad arms. Um, the frame today that we've chosen, as you can see, has two points that are quite large, and this is uh, just for no support. First thing we have to do, though, is to uh, remove the actual temples first. Uh, now that the temples have been removed, uh, the first thing that we have to do is to take off the no support. Now, uh, the easiest way to do this is actually to use a PL214. I have that right here. Uh, the PL214 is very good because it's actually angled. It's an angled side cutter, and it'll help you cut a little bit better. I'm just going to do a small demonstration of exactly how you cut it first. Just do a small snip, and as you can see, there's already a dent there, and I'm just going to go over that again, and very easily it snaps right off. I'm getting rid of that little small part there, and I proceed to do the other side as well. Now, once it has been removed, uh, you'll notice that uh, it is quite rough, and so we have to proceed to sand that down. Now, the first thing that you are going to do is to use a Dremel tool. And the Dremel tool is, uh, go you're just going to use a regular sanding wheel to sand that down. Make sure you do it quite lightly. You don't want to have it at a very high speed. Otherwise, uh, you may risk just damaging the frame. Uh, the sanding might occur too quickly, and uh, you might kind of go over and uh, slip over and, and scratch the frame. So now that we've sanded down the uh, no support area, uh, you'll, you'll notice that it no longer has the sharp edges. Uh, though it does not have the uh, nice luster that we're really looking for. Um, in order to attain that, what we really need to do is to apply uh, sandpaper to it. What I've chosen is a 400 grit to begin with. Uh, the 400 grit is pretty good for, for our purposes. It's quite, um, it's quite rough and uh, it'll make your work go a little bit faster. So what we need to do is just rip it onto a small square and start to sand. Make sure you have a firm grip onto your frame and it doesn't uh, go all over the place. At this point, uh, we're getting closer to what uh, we're, we're, we're trying to get to. Instead, right now I'm going to apply an 800 grit sandpaper. Um, this one is just a little less rough and it'll uh, make the the actual back of the frame just a little bit more refined and get us closer to that luster that we're looking for. Um, what I'm doing now is actually applying a little bit of water to this as well. Makes things go a little bit smoother. <clears throat> now finally we're getting to the point where we can actually apply a uh, Dremel tool buffing wheel to it or if you actually have a buffing wheel um, this would be ideal. Uh, it's quite smooth now. The only thing that it's lacking is that shine. Um, we're going to achieve that first with uh, the buffing wheel. And uh, this is what we're using. It's just a Dremel tool. We switched out the bit. Um, it's important, instead of just going straight on and, and, and using the buffing wheel, uh, we're going to apply a little bit of wax to it or a uh, waxing compound first. This will make it just that much uh, shinier in the end. So just simply uh, rub it against there and get some of that on and uh, apply it uh, very lightly and gently to the frame. You don't have to really press on too hard. Um, and as you can see right away, it's starting to get a little shinier as right there. So you can see the luster and the, and the, sh and the shine. Now it's important to note that if you press too hard while buffing, you may actually melt the plastic. So it's really important just to go really lightly over the, over the frame. Now we're going to apply with an actual large buffing wheel. Now the large buffing wheel, again, you have to use the wax compound and this will just, uh, again, make it that much shinier and uh, bring out that luster in the frame. And I'm going to apply it to the other side of the frame and also just kind of go over the frame as a whole. Uh, again, it's important 
especially with a wheel this big, the rotations per minute are very, very high. I think this one's roughly about 3,000 rotations per minute. So you really don't want to push the frame too hard against the wheel. Uh, the amount of friction that's generated will heat up the frame and melt the material, and uh, you'll just have to sand it all over again. Now we've finished that, and as you can see, just all the angles, it's very, very shiny now. Uh, it's actually about the same as the front. And at this point, we can start to apply our stick on titanium pad arms. Now, the, the glue that we use is called glue A. And uh, what I'm going to use is uh, just a pair of tweezers just to uh, move, maneuver it over the frame to, to find the most ideal position for the actual stick on pad arm. Um, now again, it's different with every frame, it can go higher or lower. For this one in particular, I think uh, right above the middle is perfect. And uh, what I'm going to do now is to apply the glue A. Now, apply this uh, generously. You don't want to just kind of put one or two dabs on. You really want to get the glue to um, absorb into the material. Uh, bear in mind that uh, this frame is xyl acetate. Uh, this particular procedure will not work with optile frames. Again, optile frames uh, is a different type of plastic, and it, the glue simply does not work with this with that type of uh, material. Now, I'm going to apply the glue A to the titanium pad arm as well, and again, uh, a generous amount. Once both of them are uh, equally covered. All you need to do is just uh, align it to the position that you want it to be and hold it there for approximately a minute. Uh, I'm going to start with the other side now. Again, just a generous amount on both sides of the frame and the actual titanium pad arm. Now, after about two minutes of holding, the glue should have uh, adhered enough so that it's uh, nice and straight. You can see the angles. Now, for it to be completely stable, you need to uh, wait for approximately six hours.